Uh, recording. Okay, guys, so script training today, we're going to do a script battle. Let's see, I got someone else connecting right now. Let me wait for them to connect so I can go over the rules. We're going to do a script battle. I'm going to have three different objections that I'm going to throw out. They're going to be random, and we're going to go around the room, and I'm looking for your guys' ability to uh, answer the objection and still go for the appointment and book the appointment. All right. So, uh, for example, one of one of the ones that I'm going to throw out there is I want to wait until after the holidays, because that's something you're going to hear pretty common right now. So I want to hear how you guys address that. And I'm looking for to judge the winner. I'm looking for confidence. I'm looking for energy, tonality, uh, your ability to still you know move it forward and still go for the appointment. Your goal is book the appointment right? Book the appointment and still get me to go for the appointment, okay? And uh, whoever wins, Blanc and I will be the judge, is going to get $25 Starbucks gift card because coffee is for closers, closers only, all right? Um, so let's kick this off. So who would like to go first? Everyone's going to get a chance to go. Connie, all right, Connie. So you just called me through FirePoint. You're following up with the lead. And uh, I want to wait till after the holidays. So Connie, yeah, thanks for calling me, Connie. Um, yeah, we are still looking to buy, but with the holidays coming up, you know, I think we want to wait until after the holidays, you know, maybe see what happens with the market after that and kind of go, go from there. I totally understand that it sounds like you might want to wait until after you're done being busy with family, with friends, you know, spending some quality time with them over the holidays. Um, but, you know, we don't know what the market will look like in the next few months. And to be honest, you know, interest rates are kind of on the rise right now. And so it's, it's hard to say what home prices will look like, what interest rates will look like, and really kind of what's the best gift to yourself other than a brand new home for you and your family? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I hear what you're saying. Yeah. We, I mean, I, we don't know where the market's going to be. It's just, I just don't know if we have, you know, if it makes sense for us to do it right now, or should we just wait till after the holidays? Um, that's kind of where we're at. I mean, we definitely want to buy, you know, it's just the timing. I just want to make sure I can fully commit. And then I'm also a little nervous about the market. Got it. I totally understand the hesitation. You know, I feel like the news is really kind of spouting all of these things that sound really scary to a lot of people, but really the news isn't properly educating people just like a professional such as myself could. So what I would suggest is, you know, maybe we hop on a Zoom call with a lender as well as myself as a professional, and we see what you can qualify right now. And, you know, maybe what the market is currently like, where the market might be headed, especially in the because every area is going to be a different niche market. Um, the market in Santa Clara is going to be vastly different from the market in Menlo Park or even, say, San Jose. And East San Jose is such a large city that, you know, even different areas of San Jose will be different from itself. Okay. Um, yeah, that, that makes sense. Um, let me uh, check with my wife and, and, and get back to you, you know, but yeah, yeah, I definitely think it makes sense to me, at least just to see what the market's doing, but I need to check with my wife and, and get back to you. Yeah, totally understand. You know, a lot of um, our, our pockets are kind of filling up in our calendar. Do you mind if I just set up, you know, a preliminary consultation? And if that time doesn't work for you and your wife, we can always reschedule, it's not a problem. So that way we have some time blocked off for you guys. Okay, yeah, that sounds fine. Okay, great. All right, and the role play. Let's give it up for Connie. Solid, solid. <laughs> awesome job, awesome job. All right, Connie. Um, I'm not going to give you any feedback, which is we're just going to roll through this. I want to give everyone a shot, but uh, great job. Great job, Connie. So that's what you're up against, guys. We're going for one winner out of all this. All right, who wants to go next? Real, real quick, are we doing points or how are we telling? Okay. Why don't we do this? Me and you, uh, Blanca, me and you are the judges. 
Uh -huh. So scale of one to uh, one to five. So five is like textbook. You got it. One is like, oh man, that was horrible. Okay. And everything in between. Okay. So I'll write down. I'll write down my score. Mm -hmm. uh, Do you want to text each other? No, it's all right. Just write down your score, and then we'll we'll add them up at the end. Okay. So on a piece of paper, not in the notes. Yeah, just no. Okay. Yeah, write it, write it on, oh, on a piece of paper, and then we'll reveal at the end what their total score is between you and I. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. Who wants to go next? So everyone's gonna go. It's FYI. I'm gonna call on you. So everyone's gonna go. All right, Teddy, you're up, Teddy. All right, Teddy, uh, thanks for calling, Teddy. Uh, yeah, thanks for following up, Teddy. Um, yeah, we are interested in buying, but you know what? We have a realtor we're kind of talking to right now and just kind of want to see what happens with that realtor before we talk to any other realtors. Uh, are you open to interviewing other agents? Um, I mean... I, I don't know. I just want to, we, we just, you know, this is someone we just started talking to. So, I mean, I don't know if that, that's what we're supposed to do or not. I kind of just don't want to, you know, step on toes or waste anybody's time. So I kind of want to see what happens with this guy first. Yeah, I completely understand. Um, were, were you able to sign any contracts with that agent that you were talking about? Um, no, we haven't signed anything. We met them at an open house just uh, like last weekend and we kind of just connected and we're supposed to meet with them um, next week to kind of talk about the process. Uh, thanks for sharing that Enrique. A service I also provide is having in-house lenders um, to sit down and break down the purchase price. Is, is that something that you're looking into? Um, yeah, I'm not, well, I'm not sure. I mean, yeah, we eventually got to, got to do that uh i really don't know we have we're just barely starting like we we want to buy we, we went to an open house we met this realtor and uh he offered to to meet with us and kind of go over the process okay have you been able to speak with a with a lender no no not at all I'm, like i said this we, we haven't even spoken to anybody. We just, we're going to meet for the first time next week. If, if I was able to bring you a better deal for your dream home, would you be opposed to going looking at the house with me? Um, honestly, I don't even, I mean, we haven't gotten that far. So I don't, I, I really don't know. We haven't even gotten that far yet. Like I said, we never bought. We're a first-time buyer. We never bought a home, so we're just we barely. Yeah. What, I, what, I, what I recommend, Enrique, is we can go ahead and sit down with one of my in-house lenders and see what purchase price you are qualified for and what loans apply to you. Do you know how that can benefit you, Enrique? Um. Yeah, I mean. Um, yeah, I mean, I just don't know if we want to talk to a lender yet. We kind of want to see you know, what it takes to buy and like what, what's going on with the market and like what things we need to do to get ready. Cause we're, like I said, we're first time, this is our first time. So you're, you're unsure about the market. Okay. I'm going to stop right there. Let's give it up for Teddy. Solid, solid try Teddy. No right or wrong here, guys. This is this is really just putting everyone on the spot. So I want you to acknowledge that this is the safe space. There's no right or wrong. Everyone's at different skill levels on our on this call here. So um, Teddy, good job on just putting yourself out there and, and trying. In front of everybody. No. Uh, in front of everybody. Yeah, you know, so. I don't know why. Just no worries at all, bro. So Teddy, I'm going to end it right there because we were just coming to a dead end um, and give Teddy a score. Just think, what would you want to hear if you were the buyer? Um, 
All right, let's go next person. Uh, Dewey, you're up, bro. All right. Okay, uh, so let's see. So Dewey, uh, you're following up with the lead, right? This is just the lead you followed up with. Mm -hmm. Hey, Dewey, thanks for calling. Yeah, we, um, you know, we do want to buy. My wife and I want to buy, but we're just not sure if it's a good time to buy. So I think we're going to, you know, going to hold off a little bit right now. I just don't know what's happening with the market and if it's a good time for us to buy. Okay. So what I'm hearing that you were waiting to buy at a later time because of the market. Um, what about the market that you don't like right now? Um, I don't know. It's just like, I mean, on the news, it says the market might crash and then I know the interest rates are higher. So I'm just like, it's just kind of making me nervous. I don't know if it's a good time to buy or should we wait until the market gets better? Mm -hmm. You know, I just don't, I don't, I want to make sure I make the right decision. Yeah, definitely. So you're just waiting because uh, you're watching from the news and uh, you don't, you're unsure of uh, whether or not it's a good time to get into the, to purchase in this current market. Um, I totally agree with you. Uh, however, um, uh, news, sometimes uh, they can they can misinform a lot of our buyers. Uh, a lot of time is better if you were to able to sit down with one of us and then we actually show you what we mean when uh, it's a, uh, in this current market so you can actually see the numbers instead of actually watching it on the news. Have you have a chance? Uh, to sit down with a lender? Um, no, no, I haven't. I haven't sat down with any lenders or anybody. Oh, great. Uh, so you haven't had a chance to sit down with a lender. That's good news because we have in-house lender that's sitting two seats next to me. So we actually, uh, uh, we actually can set up a Zoom call and then we can have a lender to take a look at your finance and uh, go over how you can utilize this market. And even though... Uh, and then we can inform you uh, so you can see it firsthand uh, how does current market affect your purchase power uh, instead of watching it on the news because the news can tell you one thing but it could be very different we can show it right there uh, uh, so you can see it how can it affect you um, when is a good time for uh, for us to set up this zoom call for you uh, how long will it take uh, sometime, uh, yeah, it could take over, uh, uh, 30 minutes to an hour. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm usually free in the afternoons after work. All right. Yeah. Afternoon to, uh, after work, uh, around 1 PM work for you. Uh, maybe after three, after I, three. I get off at one and by the time I get home and settled in. Sounds good. Yeah, uh, definitely. Uh, after three tomorrow, would that work for you? Yeah, that, that'll work. All right, boom, we'll stop right there. Let's give it up for Dewey. Good job, Dewey. Blanca, give Dewey a score. Got it. All right. Stutter. Let's go, let's go. Who wants to go next? All right, Alessandra, calling on you. Alessandra, I got a question. Every time I call on you, it's pretty much every time I call on you, you're like, oh, why did he call on me? By this, by this I time. Think I for me, it's just like, I need to do it like twice because that's the first time I just freaking freak out. I don't know why. <laughs> I just hate, I don't know. But remember, I've called on you so many times already. Like you should already be used to me calling on you. <laughs> All right, let's go. Alessandra. Alessandra, thank you so much for calling. Um, yeah, I don't know. Me and my wife want to buy, but I, I just don't know if it's a good time to buy. We're thinking of maybe waiting until after the holidays. You know, I don't know if the market's going to crash because the news is just kind of saying all kinds of stuff. So we might just wait a little bit just to kind of see what happens with the market because it's we're not sure if it's a good time to buy. Wait, uh, sorry, unmute yourself. And then... Those of you guys in the room, hit mute on yours. Okay. A lot of people are still buying and selling. Did you know that, Enrique? Um, no. I mean, honestly, no. I, it's, it seemed like the news said like I, 
that the market's crashing. Yeah, I, I've been hearing that also in the news, but actually 20 to 30% homes sold last week. Did you know that? No, no, I didn't know that. How about this, Enrique? What we can do is we can sit down on a Zoom meeting and I can show you what has been going on on the market. Um, and I can also have a lender and see if it's the right time for you to buy now or should you wait for until next year? How does that sound? Um, I mean, yeah, I just don't know. I mean, the news, the news, it says that like, it's not a good time to buy, like the market might crash. So no, and I can totally understand that. I have been hearing that also. I've been hearing my neighbors saying that the market is going to crash and I, a lot of things in the news. Um, but I can show you what the experts are saying. And I think it's best for us to jump on a Zoom meeting so I can show you the st statistics. Mm, okay. Um, I mean, yeah, how long will that take? It usually takes around 30 minutes, uh, but if you have questions, it's going to take around 40 to an hour. It just all depends. A lot of our buyers, first time home buyers, do have a lot of questions. So it might take up to an hour. But okay. if you don't have questions, it will take 30 minutes or so. Got it. I mean, can I think about it and, and get back to you? How about this? Let's set up a tentative time. If anything changes, you can just reach out. Um, I have tomorrow at 3 or Friday at 6 p.m. How does that sound? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll get back to you and let you know if, if, if I want to meet. I'm just not sure if it's, if it's a good time or not. And that's why we're going to jump into this meeting to go over your uh, to see if it is the right time or should you wait until next year. Actually, the holidays is the best season to buy just because a lot of people are distracted with the holidays. So you might get in and get a good deal. Oh, OK. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't know that. Um, yeah. Okay. Think about it, Enrique. Like everybody's distracted with the mar uh, with the holidays, with Christmas, Thanksgiving. They're so. Uh, a lot of people are distracted. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess we can meet then. Okay, well, so we can do two Okay, more. stop oh, yeah. right there, we'll stop right there. Give it up, Alessandra, good job, Alessandra. Let's go, all right. Let's give Alessandra a score. Okay. All right, guys, who's next? Who would like to go next? Roscoe, you ready, Roscoe? Are you wanna do it from here? I can do it like that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Andre's gonna go, go for it. All right, let's go. Hey. Throw them in the fire. I do bring this computer over here. Cool. There you go. Thank you. Okay, Andre. Uh, hey, thanks so much for calling, Andre. Um, yeah, you know what? We have another realtor that we're, you know, we just met and we're supposed to meet up with them next week. So I probably want to see what they have to say first before meeting with anybody else. Um, yeah, I just, I just don't. Kind of. Uh, I understand you have another realtor. Uh, you know, you probably feel committed to them, and I'm sure that they, you know, have given you a lot of good advice. You know, uh, I don't think it's a negative, especially to uh, consider, you know, uh, speaking to another person for that help. It's always good to open your horizon, see there's different options. Uh, here we have a deal going where there's a lot of possibility for decreased prices than our competitors. So, not saying that they're not giving you a great deal, but we do have options that can provide you some better options. Okay. Uh, Are you yeah, interested yeah. in possibly uh, hearing what I could, we can provide you? Um, I mean, I have to talk to my wife and see if she wants, you know, it's kind of like a friend of hers, like a friend, you know, a distant friend that she knows that's a realtor. Great, I understood. I mean, we'd, I'd love to be able to talk to her as well. Um, we could always get together maybe at a time and have a discussion, maybe even bring the other realtor. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know you can do that. You can bring other realtors there. I mean, it gives us options to discuss <laughs> your guys' options. 
Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, I can talk to my wife about that and see what, see what she says, see how she feels. Great. Well, um, there is a possibility. Uh, is there any time that she and you have off and we could maybe get together and we could sit down and discuss what's possible? Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe on a saturday saturday uh i'm off i'm off work on saturday fantastic uh is there a time that might work for you or <laughs> uh in the mornings mornings are good mornings are good fantastic great well how about let's, let's say maybe 10 o'clock at starbucks all right all right cool we're in right there all right <laughs> <laughs> Good job. I love the, the upbeatness. <laughs> you know what I love about that is Andre was just keeping it so simple, but he was just going for the appointment, just going for it, just yeah. going for it. Like totally just whatever I threw at him. Oh, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, it's cool. Bring the other realtor. Let's just meet <laughs> Let's get all the realtors in the room, right? Like, you know, so obviously Andre's, you know, brand new to our team, but just just his level of persistence and enthusiasm. Once we fine tune that, like it, you're gonna be good, bro. Like keep keep up that enthusiasm, that that aggr that aggressiveness, but like in a fun way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, I'm gonna give Andre a score. Who else we got? Let's see. Who's next? Who's next? Come on, guys! Don't make me call on you. Raise your hand. Tom. Yeah, I could go. I could go. Thomas Fang, Thomas Fang. Well, actually, Thomas, you're not in the contest, bro. You're a veteran. You're gonna, you can help me. We can, we can help. You can help judge because we're doing a script battle and uh, there's a twenty-five dollars Starbucks card for whoever wins. Dope. Uh, so not not uh, not any senior agents. So any more any of our newer agents. Um, Jessica, you want to go? Sorry, I just went into the meeting, so I don't know what's going on. Script battle. Uh, I'm gonna throw a, I'm gonna throw an objection at you. You got to try to book the appointment. We're giving everyone a score. Whoever wins at the end gets a twenty-five dollars Starbucks gift card. All right, you ready? So your job is get your job is book the appointment. Answer my objection. Get through the hurdles and book the appointment. All right, uh, Jessica. Thank you so much for calling. Um, you know, I just don't know if 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 now is a good time to buy, you know, we do want to buy eventually, but with what's happening in the market, it seems like the market might crash and the rates are up. So I'm just, me and my wife are just unsure if it's a good time to buy. So we were thinking of just waiting until after the holidays. Sorry. Sorry. Um, Can we do it? So yeah. Yeah. Do you mind just going back to me? Cause I have to, I'm, I have my headphones on and it's going to echo. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. Who's next? Miles, calling on Miles. Let's go. Go ahead, and unmute yourself. All right, Miles. Miles, thank you so much for uh, for calling. Me and my wife, you know, we do want to buy, but we're just not sure if it's a good time. You know, it seems like the market's going to crash, and you know, the rates are up, and I, I just we think we might wait till after the holidays to kind of revisit everything. I understand that, Enrique. Um, can you turn yours down? Yeah, Enrique, there's a lot of people saying that they're going to wait till after the holidays, but it's also a good time for us because people are distracted and uh, we can probably get a good deal on some houses. Have you actually sat down with a lender and talked about your options? Uh, no, we haven't. We haven't gone that far. Okay, so that's why uh, we like to do, we like to get on these Zoom meetings with, uh, with our lenders. So that way we can explain to you all your options and see what's available for you. That sounds like something you would be interested in doing? Um, possibly, but I just don't know if it's, you know, is it a good time to buy right now? I just don't know what's, if it's we should wait or we should do it now or just wait. I just don't want to make the wrong decision. No, I understand. That's, a, that's actually a good reason to get on the Zoom meeting. So that way we can break it all down to you and to see if it is a good time or not. Okay. Uh, and like what, what stuff, how long does that take? The meeting could go for anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how many questions you have. But usually it's about 30 to 40 minutes. Okay. Um, okay. Am, am I obligated, like, like to move no. forward or anything like that? 
No, no obligation. It's just to, to let you know who you're working with, who we are, and basically what we can do for you. No obligation. It's just to, to let you know where we all stand. Got it. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. Okay. So how about, um, when is a good time for you that you're available? Uh, I need to check my schedule and then, and then get back to you. I can call you back and let you know when I have the time. Okay. Is there, uh, would it possibly uh, be in the evenings though? Um, yeah, I'm usually off work and, you know, by three, I get home probably by four, you know, after traffic. What about if we go ahead and set a five o'clock appointment for tomorrow? And then if you cannot make it, then we can reschedule. Okay. Yeah. I think that could work. Sound good. Yeah. All right. Let's give it up. <laughs> Miles, I know you're a little bit nervous, bro, but I think you handled it well. Good job. Um, it's okay, bro. It's just us, dog. Turn, turn that energy up, that energy. Um, give Miles a score, Blanca. Got it. Miles. All right. Who wants to go next? I'll go. I'll go. Roscoe. All right, Roscoe. Uh, hey, Thomas, uh, thanks for calling me. Um, yeah, we're, we are looking to buy, but, you know, we have an agent we're kind of talking to. We, um, me and my wife are supposed to meet with him next week to kind of go over the process, you know, so maybe after I meet with him, you know, depending on how that goes, then I can see about meeting with you. Okay, okay great. So, you know, it's great. We all know an agent if you don't know. Pretty sure you don't get out of the house much then. Oh, okay. A family member or a close friend is usually in the business. And I want to ask you, what is important about working with the agent that you're looking for? Um, I think just, just making sure that, uh, I mean, this is our first time buying a home. So we're just, we're new to this. So I don't really mm -hmm. know much. So I just want to make sure I'm, in, you know, I'm informed and, and also someone that we could trust, you know. Okay, great. Uh, you're looking for somebody to help you with, you know, pretty much help you with every step of the way and someone that you can definitely trust. I work with the PRG real estate team and we have one of the highest ratings in the South Bay. We have over 500 five-star reviews. So there's a lot of other past clients really trust and work with us and very happy with our results. I would like to show you what we do to help get those five stars for the other customers and help you guide you through the buying process for you. I understand oh. you're going to be meeting that other agent next week, but I, I strongly believe we should just get together sometime in between. And then you can make your decision on where you'd like to go after that. It doesn't hurt to talk to other agents at the same time as well. Mm, okay. Yeah. I didn't know we can really do that. Yeah, so it's just uh, basically interviewing to be able to help you out and see if we are a right connection. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense. And while I got you on the phone still, were you interested just in San Jose or are you open to search in other areas as well? Um, yeah, we'd like to be in San Jose, South San Jose. That's kind of where we rent right now and it's close to our job and stuff. So I'd prefer to be in that area. Okay. And do you currently live there as well? Yeah, yeah, we live in um, in South San Jose. We rent. We're renting a house right now. You're renting. Okay. Are you on a lease? Um. Yeah. What's well, month to month now? We it's our lease is up and it's month to month. So we're trying to okay. figure out, you know, if it's now is a good time to buy. Perfect. And more a little bit on detail in the South San Jose home. Is it um, a two or three bedroom home that you're looking for? Um, at least three, maybe even four, because we, we plan to have uh, another kid. And is it, just, oh, okay. Uh, and are you looking for single families, townhouses, condos? Um, I don't know. That's the part that we got to figure out, because I just want to see what we qualify for and, um, you know, what our options are. You know, I know the houses are, you know, even they're pretty expensive. So I want to see what, what we can afford. Okay. And do you already have a price range that you're looking at at these homes? No, honestly, I'm, I'm clueless. I mean, we have some money saved, 
Um, you know, my, my credit's good. My income's good. My wife and I both works, but we don't really know where we stand, like what, what we can afford or qualify for. Well, perfect. It sounds like you are already in the right track. And what I would recommend is that we have our in-house lenders that may be able to help you get exactly what you're looking for in the, in your price range. <clears throat> you have time this Thursday at four o'clock to hop on a zoom with our lender and we can go over different scenarios with you to help see <clears throat> what you may qualify for. Uh, how long does it take roughly? That's a real quick zoom meeting. It's about 30 to 45 minutes, depending. Okay. Yeah. I think that should be fine. I just need to confirm with my wife, but that should be fine. Um, can you do five o'clock? Five o'clock. Yes, absolutely. And I will, we're going to have our in-house lender, Mallory, hop on board and she'll explain the different programs out there that you may be able to take an opportunity with. Okay. All right. Sounds good. All right. End of role play. Let's give it up. Roscoe. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. All right. Who else am I calling on? Who hasn't gone yet? I got some people hiding behind the camera. Uh, Jessica, you ready? We're good? Yes. Okay, Jessica, uh, thanks so much for calling, Jessica. Um, yeah, I don't know, you know, we, we did wanna buy, but the market seems like it's crashing right now. And I just don't know if it's a good time to buy. We wanna wait till maybe the market gets a little better you know, before we start looking at, looking at it. So we might just wait till after the holidays to kind of look into it again. Got it. I totally understand that you think the market is crashing and who wants to move during the holidays. It's all gloomy and wet outside. And plus you probably have plans as well, but what have you been hearing about the market? Um, just like whatever's on the news. Um, it seems like every day there's something on the news about like real estate's going down and it's crashing and the rates are going up. So I'm just like, man, is, are we buying at the right time? Like uh, kind of demotivated us a bit, to be honest. Got it. I totally understand. And I do have a question for you. Do you feel secure at your job right now? Uh, yeah, I've been there for like 25 years. So yeah. And do you feel like you're going to be like laid off anytime soon? Uh. I hope not. <laughs> then I would say that it is the right time to buy. In the Bay Area, as you could see that there are, prices are going up and interest rates are going up, but people are still buying and selling. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah I didn't know. I mean, I thought the market was crashing and no one was buying right now. Yeah, no, at least 20% of people in the Bay areas are still buying and selling. So the market is still there, especially in the Bay area. Uh, when you were looking, what areas were you looking in? Um, I was looking in um, Campbell because we, we live nearby and we, we'd like to, we've always wanted to live in Campbell. Campbell, got it. And then what is the price range that you're comfortable with? Honestly, I don't know because um, I just I we didn't get that far. I, I'd probably want to see what I qualify for. God, have and have you spoke with a lender yet? No, no, we haven't. No, we just we went online and kind of inquired, and then I think that's how you got connected with us. But we haven't spoken to anybody. Got it. So you've just been looking at homes for like a couple months. Have you been to any open houses or look at any homes with a realtor? Um, we've, we've like stopped by open houses, like as we're driving by on the weekends, but we haven't like officially toured or met with any realtor or anything. It was just more like online shopping. Online shopping. That's always the fun stuff. Like you just look through and imagine what houses you're going to live in. Yeah. And I'm like, dang, these houses are expensive. You know, what can we do for? Yeah, of course. So what I could do is send you similar homes in Campbell. And what we could also do is just hop on a Zoom call with one of my lenders, an in-house lender, and see what your pot, uh, buying powers are. Is, does that sound good to you? Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess. Yeah, that, that's something I guess we can look into. I mean, is there an, there's no obligation, right? 
no obligation. You, if anything happens, like I know plans change. If anything happens, you could always let us know and then we could reschedule a time. How is your schedule this week to hop on that Zoom call? Um, yeah, Friday at four. Okay, let's end right there. Let's give it up, Jessica. All right. Let's give Jessica a score. All right, all right, all right. Who else we got? I see Brenda, Vivian, uh, Jomo or Tony, do you guys want to try as well? Yeah, I could try. Okay, let's go, Tony. Uh, yeah, Tony, thanks for calling. Um, yeah, we kind of have a realtor that we're working with right now. So I just don't know if we want to talk to anybody else until until we meet with them first. Okay, I totally understand, you know, definitely not saying you should abandon your realtor that you have there working with, but I mean, having options doesn't always hurt, it doesn't hurt, right? So we, I could have my agent speak with you, provide you with some insights as to what's going on in the market to have an idea. So that way you'd have options and you could see if it makes sense for you to go ahead and purchase right now. How does that sound? Yeah, I guess that sounds that sounds good. I just don't want to offend the other realtor. I mean, we just met them at this open house and they seem pretty nice and we're supposed to meet them this Friday. So um, for like a consultation, you know, so I didn't want to kind of not meet with them and then meet with someone else. Oh, no, you would definitely be meeting with your realtor. No, not saying you should put them off. Remember, I was saying in the beginning that, you know, it doesn't hurt to have options. So you would speak with that agent and hear what they have to say. And then you also speak with us to see what is it that we have to say and how best we can assist you in your home search. So basically, you'd be comparing and see who is it that you should go ahead and work with. No obligations, definitely not saying you should not work with him. But all I'm saying is just hear we out, see what we have to offer. And if it works out for you, you then who knows yeah i guess that makes sense i guess it doesn't hurt to kind of compare um you know different realtors yeah so what time works for you i see where we have time tomorrow in the afternoon does that is that okay for you how does that work yeah. with your schedule yeah tomorrow afternoon after four works um yeah that sounds good after four all right let's end right there give it up for tony good job tony Solid, solid, solid job. Um, all right, who else we got? Let's go. This is getting fun. We got a couple, few more minutes. Let's take a couple more entries. We got, I see Brenda, Lauren, Vivian, and Jomo. Who wants to go? Vivian, let's go, Vivian. Uh, Vivian, thanks for calling. Uh, appreciate the follow up call. Yeah, I just, you know, with the market right now, you know, it looks like everything's crashing and rates are going up. I just don't know if it's a good time for us to buy. We, we maybe want to wait till the market gets a little bit better. Yeah, it's totally understanding, uh, okay. 6% may sound really scary right now, but with interest rates, you will never know if they can go up to maybe 8 or 10%. But it all comes down to you and if it's ready, if it looks like it's a good time for you to buy. Currently right now, um, how do you feel? Do you feel secure at your job? um yeah yeah i'm pretty yeah pretty secure i've been there for a while yeah so um then i recommend that it's still a good time for you to buy especially right now during as we're transitioning into the holiday seasons a lot of people are backing out of the market because they're distracted with the holidays they're going out and they don't have time to be buying um what i recommend for you is to take that time and start looking at the looking at homes to see if there's any best fit for you and slowly start to get into um, the buying process when people when other people are not in the market oh okay yeah i didn't realize that yeah so yeah you think now is like during the holidays is actually a good time to buy yeah well other people are slowing down i recommend for um, my buyers to start right now so that when they are in the market there's not as many people other people in the market as well. Uh, okay, like less competition or something. Okay, that makes sense. 
I best recommend for us is just to hop on a quick Zoom meeting where we can go over what the market is looking like, see how interest rates are, and also I'll have an in-house lender speak with you about the interest rates as well. And you can ask them any questions that you have. Oh, okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, of course. Um, so are you available in the mornings or in the evenings? Um, evenings are good. Evenings are good? Um, I have Friday at four o'clock or six o'clock works better for you. Uh, let's do four o'clock. Okay, let's end it right there. Y'all, Vivian. Solid, solid. All right, Vivian. You surprised me right there, honestly. Vivian's the quiet, more quiet, more reserved one, but she got she got those skills over there just spitting fire right there. Um, all right. Uh, Brenda, Lauren, or Jomo, who wants to go? I'll go. All right, let's go. Uh, Lauren. Lauren. Okay, Jomo, all good, Jomo. We, you can sit this one out and just listen in. Uh, Lauren. Uh, okay, Lauren, thanks so much for calling uh, for the follow up call. Uh, yeah, we kind of started talking to an agent, you know, that we met at an open house a couple weeks ago, and we're supposed to be meeting with them to kind of go over everything. So I just don't know if I want to meet with anybody else right now until I kind of see what they have to say. Okay, and thanks for taking my call. And um, you can mute that. Yeah. Um, I really appreciate it. And I understand you meet with somebody and um, you don't necessarily want to look elsewhere, but uh, we have a really strong team and I wanted to show you some of the benefits of working with our team specifically. And it's really about finding who um, you vibe with and um, have the most compatibility with. And so I think it'd be good if we jumped on a call and we can kind of go over the benefits of working with our team. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. I just, I'm kind of the type of people where I don't like to string people along. And, you know, if I say I'm going to meet with someone or work with someone, then I don't like to kind of jump back and forth, you know, out of, out of respect. So yeah, I'm just sure. not sure. I mean, it sounds good what you're saying. I'm just not sure if, if, if I would feel good about doing that. I understand. And having loyalty is, is a strong characteristic and I appreciate that. Um, and there's no obligation. This is really just for you to get the full picture again, kind of what we offer and to see if that's the right fit for you. So are you available this week? Um, maybe we can jump on a call. You can meet with one of our in-house lenders as well, and we can run scenarios and see if the numbers make sense for you. Okay. Yeah, I guess that wouldn't hurt, at least to compare. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm available uh, Thursday. Okay. Thursday. How about four o'clock? Does that work? Yeah, that works. All right. End of role play. Give it up for Lauren. Let's go. All right. You guys are, you're doing good. Um, okay. Brenda, you available? Yeah, I'm here. All right, Brent. what's up? What's up? Do you want to show your face? Uh, Come on. Hey, uh, you got you to gotta show your face. I thought you were in bed or something. You got a whole nice background with the plant and everything. Come on. All right. Yeah. Thank uh, you. Thank you. <laughs> Brenda, all right. Um, Brenda, thanks so much for following up. I appreciate the follow up call. Um, I just, I don't know if we want to, if it's a good time to buy. Like, I was watching the news says the market's going to crash and the rates are higher. And I'm just kind of feeling a little demotivated right now. We were really excited to buy. And it seems like the market's not, it's not a good time in the market. So we may want to just wait and see what happens after the holidays. Hi, Enrique. Um, well, thanks for the call. I, and uh, thanks for explaining to me um, how you feel about the market. Um, we do see that the interest rates are going up. Um, but we are seeing like a balance out in uh, home prices. What areas are you looking in? Um, we were trying to be in like West San Jose because um, that's kind of where we live, even maybe Campbell. Uh, yeah. That's where we were renting right now. Okay. So West San Jose and Campbell. And how long have you been in the market looking for the, your your home purchase? Um, we just started, honestly. We we uh, we were just shopping online. I think that's how we got connected with you. So we haven't really looked at homes, just kind of more like window shopping. 
Okay, perfect. And have you spoken with any mortgage lenders? No, uh, we haven't even got that far, to be honest. <laughs> okay, well, I think that this is a perfect opportunity for us to meet with an in-house uh, mortgage lender. We do work with Alliance Lending, and um, we can hop on a consult with me, you, and our financial lender, and we'll see if it makes sense for you to purchase in today's market. How does that sound? Um, yeah, I guess. I mean, do you think it's a good time, though, like just with what they're saying on, on the news? Yeah, well, we're, that's exactly what we're going to find out in this meeting. Um, we're going to see if it makes sense for you based off of um, your financial situation, your job, um, your work history. And if it all makes sense, then yes, we can go shopping and it, it, it would be the right time for you. Got it. Okay. All right. Yeah, I guess we can we can meet with your guy. Okay, nice. How's tomorrow at four? Yeah, tomorrow at four works. All right. Let's end role play right there. Give it up for Brenda. <laughs> Good job, everybody. Is that everybody? Who's on top? Team PRG. There's someone hiding. You're not going to escape me. Oh, that's Connie. All right. <laughs> Kimmy, what's up? Kimmy, you want in on this or what? I see you hiding over there. Got time for one more. I know you love coffee. I got a $25 gift card for somebody. No? Yes? All right. We're going to wrap it up then. All right, Kimmy. Next time. Um, okay. So Blanca, let's go down the line and I want you to give me your scores. So it's a one <laughs> out of five. It's a one through five. And um, so the highest score you can get is 10, basically. Because if you get a five from me and you get a five from Blanca, that's 10, right? That's the highest score you can get because there's two judges and we're each giving a one through five. Five means like you killed it. You got everything. You hit all the points, enthusiasm, energy. You got through it smoothly, all that good stuff. And a one is like, you bombed it. You need, you need, you need to go back to start. You don't collect $200. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> but here's the thing is I want to give everyone a shout out. Every one of you for participating. I want you guys all to give yourself a round of applause right now. Because this is the work right here. This is the work that it takes to get better. You do not become a sharpshooter. You do not become a killer on the phones or a killer in your appointments overnight. Like this takes time, energy, practice. You have to mess this shit up a bunch of times for you to get good. Like any of the guys that scored high on this, trust me, at one point they were at a one, right? So whoever got a five, at one point they were a one. So whatever score you got, just know that you can keep going up and this is why you show up. This is why you practice. This is why you raise your hand. This is why you participate. Um, hiding behind the camera and keeping your hand down is not going to make you any better. It's going to make you worse actually. So throw yourself out there. Um, like Andre just threw himself out there, threw himself in the fire, right? Brand new. This is his first script training he's on and boom, he volunteered. Like I want to see that level of participation and enthusiasm from everyone. And trust me over time, you're going to get better. So let's go, Connie. What did you have for Connie, Blanca? I want, I want your scores and then I'll tell you my scores after. <laughs> I did a five. Let's give it up. Five for Connie. Let's give it up. Let's give it up. Teddy, what'd you got for Teddy? Teddy, I did a three. A three for Teddy. Let's give it up. Give it up for Teddy. Dewey, what'd you get for Dewey? Dewey, I did a four. A four for Dewey. Let's go. Let's go. Alessandra, what'd you get for Alessandra? Did we, can we do half points or no half points? No halves. It's either okay. a four or five. Um, four. <laughs> four for Alessandra. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Andre, Andre. I, Andre, you were just so excited. <laughs> I loved it. Um, Andre, I, well, I had done a three and a half, but I'll do a three. I'll take a three. Two. All right. Three. <laughs> Let's go. Miles. Miles. Miles, I did a four. A four. Roscoe. Who was the next one? Sorry. Thomas Roscoe. 
Oh, Roscoe, I did a four and a half, five, four. Let's do a four. <laughs> 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 Jessica. Jessica, I did a four. A four. Give it up. Tony. Tony, I did a four. A four. All right. Let's give it up. Vivian. Vivian, I did a four. A four. All right. Lauren. Lauren, I did a four. A four, all right, Brenda. Brenda. Brenda, I did a three. A three, all right, give it up. All right, dun, 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 dun. All right. It's a close one here. So for Connie, I got a total score of 10. I gave her a five as well. Let's give it up for Connie. Handled that super well. For Teddy, I gave him a score of two. So total score of five. Give it up for Teddy. For Dewey, I gave him a four as well. So total score of eight. Let's give it up. Um, Alessandra, I gave her a four. So total score of eight. Uh, Andre, I gave him a three as well. Like the enthusiasm just... Killed it, six. <laughs> Miles, I gave him a four as well. Solid score of eight. Nice. Roscoe, I gave him a four. Solid score of eight. Jessica, I gave her a four as well. Total score of eight. Let's give it mm -hmm. up. Tony, I gave Tony a five. Total score of nine. Uh, Vivian, I gave her a four. Five, total score of nine. Nice. Uh, Lauren, I gave her a five, total score of nine as well. And Brenda, I, Brenda, I gave you a five, Brenda. Total score of eight. All right, so we got uh, first place, we got Connie. Connie gets the $25 gift card with a score of 10. Good job, Connie. Now, I wasn't initially going to do like second or third place. It was just going to be one gift card to the winner. But what I'm going to do is first, second, and third places. If you got first place is 25, second place, I'm going to give you a $10 gift card to Starbucks. And third place, I'm going to give you a $5 gift card to Starbucks for a coffee on me. So I got um, Vivian and Lauren with a score of nine. So tied for second place, $10 gift card. And then I got Brenda, Jessica, Roscoe, Miles, and Alessandra and Dewey with an eight. You guys all get a $5 gift card to Starbucks. $5 coffee on me. Let's give it up, guys. Round of applause for everybody. Was this fun or not? <laughs> I thought it was fun. Thank you guys for participating. I want to give you guys some quick feedback. Um, for some of you guys that need improvement as well, right? That wanna get your scores up. As you can see, um, energy plays a role in it, right? Because like Andre got a six and he's brand new and maybe he didn't hit the script so well, but his energy and his laughter and his enthusiasm made up for what yeah. he lacked maybe in the words that he was saying. <laughs> um, Miles, I wanna give you some feedback. I would have given you a five if your energy was higher. Mm -hmm. because everything you said was good perfect was perfect yeah. but because you were a little shy and a little timid you didn't fully convince me like and give me that confidence fully because your energy was a little bit lower so my advice for someone like miles is just pick the energy up bro and that's going to make your calls a lot better right because what you're saying is in fact it's good content it's good what it's good information you're saying and it's good the way you broke it down um who else? Who else can I say? Um, Vivian and Lauren that got nines, I would say um, I gave you guys both five. So maybe Blanca, you gave them both a four. What do you think they could have done a little bit better? Um, for Vivian and Lauren, I and I think almost for everybody, I felt this with the whole team. 
do not take the approach that you are convincing someone to buy or sell. You're never going to convince someone to buy or sell. You're not pushing a product. You're not pushing something to the client. Always come from a sense of knowledge. I'm here to inform you. I'm here to be your vehicle to answer all your questions. I'm here to make that process smoother. I'm the expert. If you believe you're the expert, your clients are going to believe you're the expert. If you don't believe it, you, you showcase that. So just have confidence in what you're saying. Don't convince and more add value. Add a lot more value. Hey, I encourage you to interview agents. My objective is to fully inform you with no obligation. And if it makes sense, then great. And if not, then at least you have a road plan. Um, I hope that I'm able to answer all your questions. I am hope to make this process smoother. I just really would like to see that from all the team where you're coming from a, a perspective of advice, guidance, and help. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent and advice, because that's exactly what I was going to say. Like, I didn't even have to tell, say it. Those are exactly the things that I was going to tell you right now. Yeah. Is don't try to convince someone. Oh, yeah. Well, is your job good? OK, then you should buy. Yeah. Because it doesn't matter if your job is good. That doesn't mean you should buy. Right. It matters if it's the right time for you. And so yeah. what you're selling on the appointment is you are selling an opportunity for us to meet and for us to dive deep into your situation for us to go over the process, for us yep. to educate you on what's happening in the areas that you're looking in and for us to give you. So at the end of that consultation, you have information and you're confident in where you stand. Yep. And then, then you can decide, does it make sense or not? So mm -hmm. a good phrase to always use is, Hey, when we meet, we're going to go into this and we're going to see if it makes sense for you. Mm -hmm. There's no way you can tell someone on the first call that when you're trying to book the appointment, you should buy because then you're basically saying it makes sense. You don't know if it makes sense, right? So you're you're actually lying by saying that, right? It's not it's not 100% accurate. So let me rephrase that. It's not accurate what you're saying. Yeah. Um so come from a place of being a consultant. Uh let's meet. Hey, that's exactly why we should meet. I know what you hear in the news may be scary, but that's exactly why we should meet because in our meeting we're going to go over the market. I'm going to be able to tell you firsthand what we're seeing. Mm -hmm. um, the news likes to paint a picture a lot of times, but that's not actually what we're seeing on a daily basis. We'll go over that. We'll go over your finances. I'll have my lender. Mm -hmm. The biggest thing I want to do is make sure you're informed. And then from there, you can make the right decision for you and your family. Because then what happens when you, when you do it that way, then the person on the phone, they go, okay, this person's not trying to sell me. They're actually trying to look out for me mm -hmm. to see if it makes sense. You're detaching yourself from the outcome, right? So I think overall, you're going to run into that where people say, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I don't know if it's the right time. Hey, that's exactly why we should meet because we'll go ahead and figure out together if it is the right time, or maybe you should wait. Maybe after our meeting, we decide maybe you should wait because it doesn't make sense, mm -hmm. but at least let's meet and figure that out and then make the right decision from there. Um, the other one, the other object, the other uh, rebuttal or objection was I have a realtor. You always want to encourage people to interview multiple realtors. Hey, that's and. Be okay with that. Oh, you have a realtor you're talking to? Great. That's actually perfect. Like, I encourage that. You know, this is a big decision. So when you're going to make a big decision like this, you usually want to interview multiple agents and see who has the best resources, who you connect with. And I would even say this on a call. Just imagine if you were going to go get brain surgery. You're not just going to pick the first doctor. You're going to probably do your homework. You're going to interview them. You're going to see their reviews. You're going to see their approach. And then you're going to decide who you feel comfortable with because it's a big decision you're making. Same thing when you're buying a home. It's a big financial decision. Meet with that realtor, meet with us, see what we have to offer. You compare. And at the end of the day, see who makes sense for your situation, mm -hmm. right? I have some time tomorrow in the afternoon. Does that, you know, four or six work for you? So I'm from a place of being a consultant. Um, any questions or feedback guys before we end? Are there any questions on those two objections that you guys were going through? All right.
Andre, would you have something? All right, guys. Thanks so much for showing up today. I'll get your Starbucks gift cards ASAP. <laughs> Good job, everybody. <laughs> round of applause, guys. Let's go. Uh. All right. Let me know if you need anything. See you later. Good stuff, guys.